my stuff. Hello, and welcome to this brand new tutorial series, which I am titling How I Make My Stuff. I am this guy, John, although you might know me as that guy, John, from my main channel, and you just came here because you were interested in how I make my videos. Well, I asked, and you guys voted that I do animation tutorials. So that is what this series is for. Although this series is going to be going over a lot of different stuff in my video making process, how I do my audio, how I rig my character. But today I'm just going to go over how you can make up your own character in this little program that I use from, to make my animations with. <laughs> now this program is Adobe Animate. And this is the main program that I use to make my animations. And you can see I made a little introduction drawing here. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to have to get rid of it. I know, it was, it was so beautiful. Rest in peace, the drawing. Now this tutorial is being made for those who have a basic understanding of Adobe Animate. So if you want to know the basics of Adobe Animate, then I'll leave a link in the video description going over basics on how to use Adobe Animate. I'm not the best teacher. I'm just going to go over the step-by-step -step process on how I construct my characters for my videos. So if you want to learn the basics of Adobe Animate, then link is in the description. So what we're going to go over is how I construct my characters bit by bit and how I animate them with such fluidity. Fluidity, <laughs> pardon me. So this is Adobe Animate, and every time you create a file or animation in Adobe Animate, you do it in a layer. So this is our first layer that we have, and we're gonna be creating our character using a whole bunch of different layers. So what we're going to do first is construct our character in a rough sketch. So I'm gonna do a little rough sketch of my character right here, and just time lapse through this. Now that we have a rough sketch of our character, we're going to create a new layer for each individual body part. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop the opacity of our drawing by, let's say, 30%. And now our drawing is now transparent. And what we're going to do now is we're going to lock this layer so that when we select this new layer that we created, it's not going to affect the drawing that we did right here. Oh, and of course, we're going to change our opacity settings again. <laughs> so now that we have a rough rough drawing sketch layer, we can now begin drawing our body parts. So I'm going to zoom in right here. Oh, I'm zooming a bit further. <laughs> oh, too far, too far. Whoops. So I'm going to be drawing with the pencil tool, but the way I construct my characters in my videos is I use the paintbrush tool, which is made up of a bunch of vector lines. So let's make this, pen this size bigger. So the way I draw my characters in my videos is with curves and pencil lines. So what that essentially means is that these are made up of individual curves. And if I go into the transparency settings right here, you can see that compared to a brush stroke, the curves are made up of lines instead of brush strokes. So in this sense, it's easier for me to manipulate them. But for this tutorial, we're not gonna use curves. Instead, we're gonna use pencil strokes. So for each individual body part, we will be creating a new layer on the bottom here. So let's create a couple more and let's name these. So for this layer, we're gonna name it head. And for this layer, we're going to name this uh, the body. And essentially what we're doing here is we're assigning each individual body part of our character into a separate layer. So let's create a uh, arm L, which essentially means arm left. I use L and R to, de to determine the difference between left and right because it's easier. Arm R. There we go. Looking all nice. And of course, the legs. And we'll get into the facial features later, but for now, let's construct the main basic parts of our character. So make sure, that, making sure that we're selected on the head layer, we're going to go ahead and draw out our character. Now for this layer, we're only drawing the head part. So this is going to be the symbol that we're going to be moving for every instance of the character. There we go, decent looking head. All right, so now that we've drawn the head, we're going to go ahead and draw each individual body part on its own separate layer. That will be the body. Oh, and you have to keep something else in mind too. If a body part appears over a different body part, you gotta make sure that that hierarchy is set in the layer, layer settings as well. So in this case, the head would be over the body and the left arm will be above the body. In this sense, I moved the arm, the left arm layer above the body layer so that it will appear on top of it. So let's go ahead and draw the second arm and then the other arm for the other layer. And of course the legs. Now that you have drawn all the pieces for your body, what you can go ahead and do is delete that sketch layer, or you can just erase it. And now that we have the pieces of our body drawn out, we can now go ahead and begin coloring them. So you can color them however you like. I personally have a specific color palette set for each of my characters. So 
for this tutorial, I'm not going to stick to my original color palette. I'm just going to use a preset color palette saved on the uh, on Adobe Animate. So let's go ahead and color that in. Oh, here's something else that you should know. If you have little gaps in between the parts that you're drawing, what you can do in order to fill those gaps is take the is go to the pencil tool by pressing the shortcut Y, and you can create strokes in between the pieces so that when you're coloring, it will fill in the gaps in between the stroke. In order to get rid of those tiny strokes that you see right here, is you can select the area inside the stroke, and you will see the swatch for the stroke right here, and then you can go ahead and delete that stroke. And now it's gone. Once we have rinsed and repeated the process for each individual body part, we can now begin organizing each individual piece into a separate symbol. Now what is a symbol, you may ask? Well, I'm about to show you. If we did everything correctly and separated each individual piece to a layer, we can turn those layers into movable objects, or in this case, symbols. So once you select the layer, you can now go ahead and right click it, and you can select create a symbol right here. Not here. We'll get to this in a later video. <laughs> Let's go ahead and press convert to symbol, or you can also press the shortcut F8, and now it will turn our object into a symbol. Now we're going to name this symbol head, and we're also going to make sure that it's set to a graphic symbol. So make sure that is set to graphic and that you've named it to your liking, and go ahead and press OK. Now our drawing is turned into a separate object, which you can use to rotate and skew and transform to your heart's content. And you can also adjust the anchor point to where you want it to be, and it will rotate to that anchor point. So if you want the head to move with the neck, you can adjust the anchor point to the neck area, or you can adjust it to the ear if you want to move there for some reason. And it's easy as that. So let's go ahead and convert each and every body part into its own symbol. Now that we've created a symbol for each and every individual body part, we can now begin adding other features that we like. So what we can do now is create a new layer above the head layer, and we can now begin drawing our face. <laughs> okay, let's give him a better face. There we go, much better. We're going to turn our face into a symbol object as well, and I'll get into how we can animate that symbol in a later video. Congratulations, you've now just constructed your character, but there's a problem. We have to move each and every individual piece all at once now that they're all a separate layer. No, we don't have to, because of this nice little feature called parenting. Now that we have our characters set up in separate layers, we can now begin parenting them to each and every layer. So we can go ahead and enable the layer parenting tool, and we can now begin parenting each layer. Now that we've set up our layers as symbols and that we've adjusted the anchor points correctly, we need the other layers to move accordingly with the separate pieces. As you can see, when I rotate the head, the face isn't moving. Why is that? Well, we need to parent the face to the head by parenting it to the head. So now that I've done that, when I move the head, the face will now move with the head. And that's how it's done. And now that we've done that, we can also parent the head layer to the body and the arm to the body as well, and then the other arm to the body, and then the body to the legs. And now this is what I call the basic character setup for simple animation. So now that we've parented all our layers to our liking, we can now move each piece accordingly and every other piece will move with it. So now that we move the, the body, we can also now move the arms as well. And we've created our own little rigged animation. And if you set the main layer to the legs, you can also move the entire character without having to move each individual body part separately. So you can call this le this leg layer the main control layer. And that is my basic process of how I construct my characters in Adobe Animate. So if you really enjoyed this video and you want me to explain more on how I animate my characters, then please leave a like and subscribe. I know that's kind of cheesy, but as a YouTuber, I'm contractually obligated to say these things at the end of the video. So if you want more, then demand more. Demand more in the comments, like, how do you move the face? How do you move the character so fluidly? How? I need to know! Thank you so much for watching my tutorial video. I'm sorry if I sound really cringy the whole time. This is my first tutorial ever, so deal with it. Goodbye. <laughs>